Remember, concentrate on the moment. Feel, don't think. What if we told you that one of the most anticipated Star Wars movies of all time has been scrapped by Disney? Rogue Squadron, the movie that was supposed to take us to the next level of starfighter action and adventure, has been cancelled. But why? What happened behind the scenes that led to this shocking decision? And what does this mean for the future of Star Wars movies? We will reveal the dark truth behind the cancellation of Rogue Squadron and discuss the future of the Star Wars franchise. Stay tuned. In September 2019, it was reported that Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, would produce a Star Wars movie with Michael Waldron, the writer of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, attached as the screenwriter. The film was supposed to be a new and original story not connected to the existing Star Wars saga. In December 2020, Lucasfilm announced that Patty Jenkins, the director of Wonder Woman, would helm Rogue Squadron, a standalone Star Wars movie about a group of elite pilots. The film was scheduled to be released in December 2023, but in September 2022, Disney removed it from its release calendar. So what went wrong with Star Wars Rogue Squadron, and what does it mean for the future of Star Wars movies? Creative Differences and Scheduling Conflicts One of the main reasons behind the cancellation of Star Wars Rogue Squadron was the creative differences between Jenkins and Lucasfilm, the studio behind Star Wars. According to Variety, Jenkins' vision for the film clashed with the executives at Lucasfilm who wanted more control over the story and the characters. Jenkins, who had previously directed the critically acclaimed Wonder Woman and its sequel, was not willing to compromise on her vision and the two parties could not reach an agreement. Another factor that contributed to the cancellation was the scheduling conflicts that Jenkins faced. Jenkins had signed on to direct Wonder Woman 3 for Warner Brothers, which was supposed to start production in 2022. This meant that Jenkins had to juggle two major projects at the same time, which proved to be too difficult. Jenkins announced in November 2021 that she was putting Star Wars Rogue Squadron on hold to focus on Wonder Woman 3, effectively delaying the Star Wars film indefinitely. The Uncertain Future of Star Wars Movies the cancellation of Star Wars Rogue Squadron was a huge blow for the Star Wars franchise, which had been struggling to find its footing in the post-Skywalker era. The sequel trilogy, which concluded with The Rise of Skywalker, received mixed reactions from fans and critics and failed to live up to the expectations set by the original and prequel trilogies. The standalone films Rogue One and Solo also faced production troubles and lukewarm box office results. The only bright spot for Star Wars had been the Disney Plus shows such as The Mandalorian, The Bad Batch, Andor, and Ahsoka, which had garnered positive reviews and fan support. However, the cancellation of Star Wars Rogue Squadron also raised questions about the future of Star Wars movies, which had been the main attraction of the franchise for decades. With Rogue Squadron gone, there were only two other Star Wars movies on the horizon, one to be written and directed by Taika Waititi, and another to be produced by Kevin Feige. The Hope for Star Wars Rogue Squadron Despite the cancellation of Star Wars Rogue Squadron, there is still some hope that the project could be revived in the future, either as a movie or a TV show. In April 2023, Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy told IGN2 that Rogue Squadron was still a story that they wanted to tell and that they were looking for the right time and the right way to do it. She also praised Jenkins as a talented filmmaker and a passionate Star Wars fan and expressed her desire to work with her again. Additionally, there is also a possibility that Star Wars Rogue Squadron could follow in the footsteps of other Star Wars projects that were originally conceived as movies but were later adapted into TV shows. For example, Andor, the upcoming Disney Plus series starring Diego Luna as the rebel spy Cassian Andor, was initially planned as a movie spin-off of Rogue One. Similarly, Ahsoka, the upcoming Disney Plus series starring Rosario Dawson as the former Jedi Ahsoka Tano, was originally envisioned as a movie trilogy by Dave Filoni, the creator of The Clone Wars and Rebels. Therefore, it is not impossible that Star Wars Rogue Squadron could also find a new life on Disney+, Plus, where it could have more creative freedom and flexibility. The future of Star Wars movies, what's next after Rogue Squadron? Star Wars fans were disappointed to learn that the planned movie Rogue Squadron, directed by Patty Jenkins, had been removed from Disney's release schedule. 
The film, which was supposed to introduce a new generation of starfighter pilots and move the saga into the future era of the galaxy, was originally slated for December 2023. However, due to scheduling conflicts and creative differences, the project has been put on hold indefinitely. So what does this mean for the future of Star Wars movies? Is there any hope for seeing more adventures on the big screen, or will the franchise focus on expanding its TV shows on Disney Plus? Taika Waititi's movie. One of the most anticipated Star Wars movies is the one being developed by Taika Waititi, the acclaimed director of Thor, Ragnarok, Jojo Rabbit, and What We Do in the Shadows. Waititi, who also voiced the droid IG-11 and directed the season finale of The Mandalorian, is known for his quirky humor, vibrant style, and heartfelt storytelling. His Star Wars movie, which he is co-writing with Christy Wilson Cairns, is expected to be a fresh and unique take on the galaxy far, far away. Not much is known about the plot or the characters of Waititi's movie, but he has teased that it will be very me and that he will ruin Star Wars in a good way. He has also joked that he will base his movie on the infamous Star Wars Holiday Special, which featured Chewbacca's family in musical number by B. Arthur. Waititi's movie does not have a release date yet, but it is likely to be one of the three untitled Star Wars films that Disney has scheduled for 2025, 2027, and 2029. Rian Johnson's Trilogy Another Star Wars movie that has been in the works for a long time is the trilogy being created by Rian Johnson, the director of Star Wars The Last Jedi, Looper, and Knives Out. Johnson, who received mixed reactions from fans and critics for his bold and divisive choices in The Last Jedi, was announced to helm the new trilogy of Star Wars films that would explore new characters and regions of the galaxy, separate from the Skywalker saga. However, since the announcement in 2017, there's been little news or updates on Johnson's trilogy, leading some to speculate that it had been cancelled or delayed. Johnson himself has maintained that he is still working on the project, but that he's also busy with other films, such as the sequel to Knives Out. He's also expressed his support for Waititi's movie and his willingness to collaborate with him. Johnson's trilogy does not have a release date either, but it could be one of the three untitled Star Wars films that Disney has planned for the future. Kevin Feige's movie Another intriguing Star Wars movie that is in development is the one being produced by Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios and the mastermind behind the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Feige, who is a huge Star Wars fan, was reported to be working on a Star Wars film with Lucasfilm in 2019, but no details were revealed about the story or the creative team. Feige, who has successfully overseen the interconnected stories of dozens of Marvel superheroes, could bring his expertise and vision to the Star Wars universe and potentially create a new era of Star Wars storytelling. Feige has also hinted that he has a specific actor in mind for his Star Wars movie, but he's not revealed who it is. Feige's movie does not have a release date as well, but it could be the third untitled Star Wars film that Disney has slated for the future. So what do you think? Why did Rogue Squadron get cancelled? Was it the creative clash, a scheduling issue, or something more sinister? Let us know your thoughts and theories in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more.